Hello there my friends, this is the boy and his dog and welcome to Retro Edition where I continue my mission to play and review every game released on the Evercade, old and new. In today's video we take a butchers at Missile Command, the next game on the 4th Evercade arcade cart, Atari Arcade 1. So, without further ado, let's get started. Planets Zardon have always been a utopia, but their stellar neighbours on Crytolia are the jealous type. Save the planet by fending off the Crytolian barrage of missiles, satellites and bombs. Missile Command is a single screen shoot up originally released by Atari for the arcades in 1980. And the game's a bit of a legend isn't it? The funny thing is, I'm so used to playing the Atari 2600 version, and others like it, I completely forgot you have three fire buttons. I mean in the great scheme of things this doesn't add a huge amount of difference to the other versions, it just feels more interactive and basically cooler. The basic premise of Missile Command is to defend the cities from an oncoming attack of missiles and occasional other little tinkers. You are in control of three gun turrets positioned at the bottom of the screen, one at either end and the third in the centre. Each turret holds a certain amount of ammo, when it's gone it's gone. Well until the next round. Also, obviously a missile hits one of the three turrets and takes them out for the rest of the round too, using huge amounts of ammo in the process. You can aim at on screen lines of missiles with a nippy enough crosshair, you really have to get your timing spot on, aiming much lower than where they are, and hopefully where they clump together, to take them all out at the same time. But sneaky buggers will really always sneak through, so you have to be quickly lower and shoot again. The speed at which the lines of missiles travel after the first round affords you little time to think and almost no time to make a mistake, making this quite the strategic title, and one that I don't think will ever truly get old. The 2600 is the one I'm most used to of the two, playing it a lot in my youth. Both versions are quite basic looking, though the arcade obviously holds the more detail, but the 2600 as usual, looking much more vibrant. The console version moves smoothly and ramps up just as quick as the arcade. You don't have gun turrets to worry about, but equally you only have the central turret to shoot from, so you have to be more precise of each shot. Dare I say it, the 2600 is actually the harder of the two to play. With all that being said, which is the better version? Well, nothing beats the awesomeness of free fire buttons, so the arcade version is the clear winner. There's also a groovy version of Missile Command on the Atari Lynx Collection 1. Super Missile Command, which is a dual game with Super Asteroids. It adds things like a shot between stages, upgrades and more variety of enemy, etc. It's a lot of fun, but I find the arcade version is the one I play the most often. Did I already mention there are three fire buttons? Three of them! If you've made it here to the end of the video, thank you very much for joining me. Please leave a thumbs up or a comment if you would like. Either way, I'm just chuffed you poked your head in the door to take a gander. Join me in the next video when I'll be taking a deeper butchers at Night Driver. I hope you have an awesome day, my friends. And until next time, be seeing you. <laughs>